Abbasid Resist Director General, FCT Emergency Management Agency. He joins us live from Abuja. I was asking you earlier what the update is at the Tridmore Estate. Uh, we're told residents are insisting there could be more fatalities uh, than what you have reported. Well, thank you very much. Um, the update is that uh, we have discovered an additional uh, dead body, which makes the number to be four. Unfortunately, three are from the same family. Uh, we were able to rescue the mother, but uh, three of her children are, are dead, in addition to the other first casualty that uh, we discovered earlier in the morning. Uh, we will not be able to say whether uh, that is the end or, uh, of the number, but what we have done is to call on the resident uh, around that area to report any missing person, uh, family member that is living around that area that has not been seen from yesterday up to this moment. Is the rescue operation still on and what challenges are you facing? Yeah, the rescue operation is still on and uh, we cannot call it up because we are not uh, certain of the number of people. Uh, the challenges uh, we are having is um, really uh, for, for people to come out and tell us who and who uh, have not been seen from yesterday 9 uh, p.m. till this uh, night. Uh, but what we are now trying to do is to recover those uh, uh, vehicles that have been taken away by, by wash away by, by the flood. Talk to us about how the flood experience is different this year from what we had last year. Yeah, it was uh, very devastating and you know um, that notorious place had been having the series, series of uh, uh, flooding since 2017 and uh, last year the same we had uh, such kind of uh, incident and uh, it is very unfortunate that because uh, it is something that c could be avoided uh, people have uh, built indiscriminately around that area and they have also raised retention walls as they are by conscripting the storm water from really flowing freely uh, so it is very, uh, 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 really devastating uh, at this moment, especially now that uh, more lives have been lost and uh, property wars, millions of naira have been destroyed. Uh, do you think recommendations have been made that can resolve this challenge permanently? Absolutely. Abuja has a master plan. Uh, we strictly abide by the master plan and uh, anybody who built indiscriminately along the waterways uh, definitely should just be removed if, uh, without any uh, problem. But our main uh, challenge in this course is that uh, as soon as the authority pass a, a notice for somebody to, to leave the place uh, or to stop the work, he will rush to the court of law and then get injunction to put the authority on hold. And uh, I don't think that is good for this nation because uh, it's causing more lives to be lost and properties. It was millions of naira. Uh, we need to really look at the this, uh, judicial system in that in that way. Uh -huh. So Nema had a meeting with the Hydrological Services Agency earlier this month talking about the synergy and the strategy ahead this year. Uh, is this the worst that Abuja residents should expect? Or do you have any information that we don't know of? Yeah, all the stakeholders have met and uh, we have agreed and, and, and uh, act, I mean, um, uh, review our response plan because of the prediction passed by uh, NIMET and NISA. Uh, so, uh, in order to ensure safety of lives and property in the FCT, uh, unfortunately, uh, these are uh, uh, human-induced uh, flooding, you can see. It has nothing to do with natural nature whatsoever. Mm -hmm. And so, I think uh, we need to really uh, work along that angle to ensure that uh, everybody is safe in the FCT. I know there were previous warnings uh, ahead of the rains this year. Are there particular areas that you are concerned about in Abuja where you are, uh, where residents have to in, take extra caution? In fact, Tradmore, 
trade more estate and that angle is one of those areas we concentrated mm -hmm. we have reviewed that area severally we have visited we have carried out sensitization uh, in that area we have involved the community in all our uh, uh, response plans and we are even uh, making sure that uh, at any point it rains our team of uh, responders are around that area to ensure safety of their lives and property. Unfortunately, look at what we are uh, getting at the end of the day. So it is very devastating. It's one of the areas that we, we, we flag it right and we are giving more concern uh, every now and then. Sad story. One more dead body found. I think the count is now four in Tradmore. We're hoping that after this incident, um, government will take more action as regards pulling down those structures uh, that is causing this disaster. Abbas Idris is Director General of Federal Capital Territory Emergency Management Agency. Thank you for talking to us tonight. Thank you for having me.